guys welcome back to learn by test once again in our previous video we have learned how to interact with different types of input fields in this video we are going to learn how to interact with different types of drop down we we'll learn how to select a drop down with the help of text or label and then followed by the value and lastly we'll also learn how to select a drop down with the index value and apart from that also we will learn how to handle the jquery drop down so there are two types of drop down one is the basic html drop down that is like select and within that we have like options and another one is like jquery which uh, which looks like a drop down but it is not a drop down it will be basically like your div span like that tags so first we are going to learn the very basics of drop down for example if you go and see here we have like uh, select demo list so if i click on this you can see like we are getting multiple options and let's say that i'm going to select like thursday once i do that you can see like day selected and then followed by the date day we have selected right so how do we know it's a drop down or not so for example if i go to this particular page the jquery drop down select search demo here also you can select we are getting the same kind of ui and even here also you can select we are getting the same kind of ui but which one is drop down and which one is not drop down let us understand so if i go and inspect this one so here you can see like we have a select tag and within the select tag we have this options so that means of course it's a drop down okay so whenever we notice like select and within that we have like few of the options then of course we can use the default uh, playwright functions like select options but in this case it's going to different so if i go and inspect here you can see like it's basically span not your um, select so how to handle both have to be handled in different ways i will teach you both the ways okay so let's go to the very basic one so here let's see what the things we have so first of all i know that i have to select this drop down because in a page there might be multiple for example if i go and say like double slash then followed by select you can see like i am getting like three drop downs here this might not look like a drop down but it is a drop down because it's a multi select for example here you can see like we have this attribute called multiple that means it's a multiple so i can say like control then followed by i can say like florida um, texas washington i can just select multiple so this is basically my multi select and this is my singular select in most of the website you can see like single only but in sometimes there might be multiple select drop down as well so we know that we have like three drop downs here now we are going to identify the first drop down the which is like select list demo and based on that we will do some operations okay so first of all we are going to find the unique uh, value for this and here i can say like i have a id called select demo so i'm just going to copy that and this is my cs which is unique so i can use this one okay so first of all we know like how to launch the browser so i'm going to say like playwright dot create and then followed by you can say like chromium dot launch and within the launch we have to make it headless so that we can see it we'll come to that in a moment and then we can also say like new page which is going to return me the page reference of course i can write this in a single line as well it's just the return so yeah of course it should work and within the launch i'm going to say like uh, new then followed by launch option and if you see here we are not getting any suggestion after the dot because we have to do the import shortcut is very easy Control plus one it will give us this little pop-up and you can give enter that means we are going to import the launch option then i can say like dot set headless and i can make it false that's it pretty easy okay now based on the page i know that we have to use the function called navigate so that i can reach to that particular url so i have already stored that as a variable two string variables you can see like select url which is this particular site and then i have like jquery url which is this one okay now what we are going to do we are going to first select the drop down based on the value so let me store that as a locator so for example i can say like page dot locator and then followed by the locator value which is select then followed by the id value of course this is going to return me the locator i can name it like uh, day locator something like that okay okay now we are going to select by the value by default playwright allows to select a drop down based on the value but in the recent update uh, 
um, for example if i go to the playwright.dev and if i go to the docs and if i go to actions select options and look at your set up so here you can see like we can now select both the um, value of this visible text at the same time so this is like this or that so if you go to the docs and if you go to the release note and if you go to the 1.29 version you can see like we have this latest option now uh, like it matches based on the value or label so it earlier by default it goes always with the uh, values but now it's go with, goes with the value or label okay so it's just an update and playwright is evolving a lot so always recommend it to see the documentation because few of the things might get changed in upcoming days but these are pretty stable but yeah we can expect as well as this is the very new to the market okay now of course you know that in a drop down we have like select tag within that we have options and within the options we have like value and the text so this one is like we can say like visible text text or the label and this is of course the value in this scenario value and the text both are exactly same so if you pass any one that should work fine but in certain conditions it might not be true for example if i go to my website like let go dot in and then followed by the drop down let me inspect this one so here you can select the option the value is like js and the text is javascript so this might be like always true or false so both values and text might be different in some scenarios as well so based on your application you have to handle but however in playwright we can pass both the values and it should work fine okay but still i will show you both the methods for example here i can say like day locator then followed by select option and here it's a you can see it's a overloaded and we have a lot of things so here we can say like let's say that we are going to pass this as wednesday so i'm just going to copy and paste over here okay that's it that's it pretty much cool so let's go and run this now let's see so here you can see like we got this as already wednesday and let's say that we are going to do also the asset okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy i mean i'm going to inspect this one and it has a some class so this is the uh, css value p dot selected value so we can just use this so copy and of course we know like we can do the asset or we can do this is out as well but let's go with the asset which will be very easier so here i'm going to say and let's see what is the actual text so it says like day selected colon dash and then followed by the actual day we are going to select okay so we can do this in like full or partial so i'm going to do the partial text compassion now okay so first of all of course we have to bring the playwright assertion and we'll just make it like static and then followed by dot assert that and here i'm going to make it like assert that and the locator so here i can say like page dot locator the value and i can say like contains then followed by text and the text that we are going to select so i can just pass pass it over here okay so that's it let's go and run let's confirm whether it's working fine or not So here you can select it got selected the wednesday and if i go to my console let's go to the console and of course there are no errors so of course it's correct okay so yeah that's it very cool okay now let's see how to select based on the label so we can use the same function for both the label and the value but just in case if you want to select based on the label not the value then we can say like day locator then followed by select option and then i have to say like new then followed by select option dot you can see like we have like set index set label set value okay so i'm going to set value and maybe this time we can go and select like friday so i'm just going to copy the friday and paste over here okay once that is done of course we know like we can do the assert so let me copy and paste this one more time just in case if you want to see the output you can also do the sys out and here uh, you can say like 
okay let me store this here basically we can store it here and we can make it like let me name it like result okay so instead of this i can just pass like result that should also work fine and here also i can say like result and here i can say like result then followed by text content okay so that's it i hope you are able to understand so just we just um, got the locator once and we we are going to do the reuse okay so let's go and run this now one more time okay so that's it very cool you can see like day selected is basically friday so here we are getting a sys, sys out statement okay so that's it go and stop it so that your memory won't get waste okay now if you want to select based on the index it's very simple the same thing you just have to change this like instead of uh, select set value you have to like set index that's it and of course index means you have to pass the position which starts from zero so let's say that we are going to select the uh, maybe like two okay so what will be the two two will be like your this is the zero this is the one and this is the two so it should be monday okay so we can expect it to be like monday let's go and run this now okay so that's it we are pretty much done if you go and see here it's basically your monday okay so we are selecting on the same drop down that's why like first time it will select the wednesday then it will go with the friday and then it will go with the monday okay so yeah that's it we are we have learned all the three possible ways now how to select multiple can we do the multiple on this particular guy of course we cannot because this is a single drop down value so let's go and find this multiple so if i go and inspect this one and here you can select we have a select with the name called states so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to say like select and then followed by name equal to the value okay so of course it's one of one we can use it and mostly you, you have noticed i'm using css not the xpath because we can use anything that doesn't really matter to play right but sometimes css is very easy to um, visually up. like it's very easy to understand that's why okay so first of all we'll select the locator so for that of course page dot locator the locator value and we'll store this as say uh, states okay now what we are going to do we are going to do the multi select how to do it's very simple the same thing we have to say like select dot select options instead of single we have to pass like array so here i can say like new then followed by a string of array and then i can pass like multiple values okay so for example here let's say that i want to select the um new jesse let's go and copy this then followed by i want to grab this texas let's copy and paste okay two is enough i guess so let's go and run this now okay so if i scroll down you can see like both new jesse and texas are highlighted that means of course it is selected for verification you can just click like get all selected and you will uh, get this okay it's not coming but it should work fine yeah it should work fine okay so anyways so yeah that's it we are pretty much done with the drop down now you might have few questions like how do i know how many number of options are there within this drop down for example let's say this one states right so within the states uh, there are like uh, one two three four five six Seven, eight, eight states names are there right so let's see how to get all those or how to get the count okay so yeah of course you can do the same operations on this single look single drop down as well as well as in multiple drop down as well so here we are we are going to say like states dot then again we are going to find the locator and the locator name is going to be your uh, option okay so this is going to return me multiple if you remember i have said like the same function can be used as find elements and find elements as well okay so here i can just simply say like sys out and then followed by options dot count that means it's going to return me the number of options are there for example in selenium we have like um, when we find the drop down we will get the list of web element right so same concept here as well okay 
and if i want to print all the options text what can i do so i can simply say like options then followed by options dot all inner text that means it's going to return me all the text and of course it's going to return me the list of text okay so what can i do so i can simply do the uh, print so i can say like for each and this is going to return me one option at a time and then i can say like sys out then followed by option dot uh, yeah option that's it okay so this is just a lambda expression if you do not know about lambda you can just go with the regular for each as well or for uh, loop as well okay anything is fine i'm just going to execute before that i'm going to yeah let's go and execute this as well okay so if you go to the console you can see like we got the new jc we got everything and if i go up you can see like we have total number of eight states and the all the data okay so in selenium the drop down is a bit uh, complex compared to the uh, playwright i will say because this looks very easier for me to understand okay anyways that's just a personal thought okay so we have learned how to handle the drop down we have learned like how to um, uh, like select a value based on the value i mean select a drop down value based on the value label and the index and also we have learned like how to handle the multiples and if you want to read the content within the options within the select drop down then of course you can use like all inner text which will return all the text within that particular locator and if you want to know like number of options available over there you can use the count okay so that's it very simple now let's move to the jquery so this is the typical way of handling drop down now jquery is little bit different compared to the um, the select select thing because here we do not have the select okay so if i go to the elements and if i go and inspect this particular drop down you can see it's basically span it's not the select so of course we have to handle it in different way let me show you that so first of all we are going to use this one so here i can see like we don't have much things but this is the parent so probably uh yeah if you go up you can see like we have select as well but here you can select the area hidden is true that means we cannot handle this based on the drop down of like the what are the things we have learned earlier so of course let me what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this then we'll get this option we can go and select this one or maybe you can just type some data and based on the suggestion we can do the click action as well okay so i hope you are able to understand the context now let's see how to do it so first thing first we are going to select this one so here I guess I can use this class name. Let me just copy this. So span then followed by this, and it's one of three. Okay, so there are totally like three. Of course, we can write a better CSS or XPath to find this unique. But I'm just going to show you one more options in Playwright. For example, here we have three, and if I use this locator, you already know that we are going to end up with strict mode violation exception. But we are not going to do that. Rather, let me show you one thing. So page dot navigate. First of all, we'll navigate to that particular site, and then I'm going to say like page dot locator, the locator value, and this is going to return three. But I can say like I want to interact only with the first, so this will return me only the first web element or the element. Okay. So let me store this as a locator. So this is going to be my uh, country drop down. Okay. So I will name it like country that's it now i have to do the click action here so first of all i have to click on this country drop down right so here i'll say like country then followed by of course the click okay once i clicked i'll be able to see this particular thing right so let's go and inspect this one as well what is this this is bangladesh right so here you can see like everything is based on your ul and the li okay so we can write a dynamic xpath for this or maybe something like that okay so the easiest thing will be like um passing with the text i guess okay so for example you can see like select two results so i'm just going to use this so yeah okay so span dot and then ul and then followed by la okay so you can see like we have around 11 values okay i'm going to copy this one and here i'm going to say like page dot locator the locator value which is going to return me the results okay so this is going to be my all the results 
but we should select the text not the ally for example if you go to this here you can say like we have multiple allies so of course it's a strict mode violation error but from the ally if i go to this particular ally which has a name called hong kong then of course it's going to work right so this will become the unique locator how to do it is very simple so here i can say like uh, page dot locator then followed by the select two results the unordered list the list and then followed by i can also say like new page dot locator option dot set you can see we have another three options has text and yeah two options has and has text so here i'm going to select has text so from that particular locator i'm going to select for the text which is india okay then i can say like results dot click and of course it's now single thing so results doesn't make sense results will make sense but result is already there i guess okay it, it, already we have used the result so that's why we are getting error now so what we'll do we'll just say like uh, list and here i can say like result, list dot click okay oh so yeah list is also not a good name but of course you got the idea okay so the basically what we are trying to do is first of all we are trying to identify that particular drop down we are clicking on that and once we click on that we know that it's going to generate multiple list so from the list we are going to target all the li but where it has a text called india that only we are going to do the click actions very simple thing okay now of course you know how to interact with the input fields so you can just type so for example you can type like hong kong we are going to get the suggestion then also you can do that is also fine okay so probably you can try that to yourself and if you have any doubt do let me know in this comments okay now instead of india let's go and select like uh, probably like denmark so i'm just going to do it like denmark and let's go and run this just to confirm it's working fine so it's basically the chaining concept in selenium for example we can find the element and from the element we can find another element right so that is what we are doing here but it's little different so here page dot locator in the sense this is my parent from the parent i am just finding the locators which has this text called denmark okay that's it very simple thing okay i hope you are able to understand how to handle the jquery drop down as well and if you go and see this drop down so this is basically your select tag only let me open this browser so this is also your select tag only but within that we have like options group and within the options group we have like options so how to handle this also very similar as we discussed earlier so let me just give you a quick uh, demo for this okay so first of all i'm going to find this particular uh, xpath or css so here we have like name equal to files i'm going to use that so here i can select page dot locator then the locator value and this is going to be my Uh, files and from the files let's say that i want to in select this ruby okay which has a value text called ruby right so here i can say like files then followed by select option and here i'm going to pass the text directly right uh, because already i said like we can pass the label or the value so here you can select the jquery is the jquery ui is the value and the text is ruby but still if i use this function it's going to work fine okay so let me go and run this let's confirm so if i scroll down you can see like ruby is already got selected okay so playwright will do the scrolling automatically but if you want to do it we can do that as well we'll learn that in our upcoming videos okay so that's it for this video let me give you a quick recap so first of all we have learned two ways to handle the drop down one is the typical way using the select like the select option function where we can use the label text or the index and if you want to select multiple we can do that with the help of select option the same function but here the data should be like within the string array format so you have to select new string of array and then followed by the values that's it very simple okay and if you want to know how many options are there within a particular select tag then you can use like locator locator of options and you 
can get the count okay and if you want to print all those for a session or maybe some other purpose you can use like all inner text and we have also learned the jquery so it's basically like doing click actions so first of all we'll find the locator we'll do the click action and here we are using first because there are multiples and we are going to focus on the first one and then from that particular uh like once we click on the drop down we are getting the suggestions right so we will find the suggestions it can be in the list format or any other format as well and from there we are going to filter a locator with the help of text so that's why we are using this one okay and yeah that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments and the github link will be in the description you can go and check it out all the codes Ta -da, bye bye see you in the next one very soon